Green Line, which is, you know, perhaps the most hostile of the light rail lines we have in LA and might contend for one of the most hostile light rail lines in the country. It runs down the middle of a freeway. Metro also has some challenges with the placement of some of its stations and access to those stations. So, uh, for example, the Green Line intersects the Silver Line bus rapid transit in the middle of where the 105 meets the 110. Through some of the loudest environment you could imagine in urban areas. So, at the intersection of two freeways. There are places in which there are communities that that are riding inadequate transit, um, but are riding it in bulk because it's a necessity. And, and sometimes those places get neglected because they maybe don't have as much um, political power. Six or seven years ago, we actually had a student do their uh, dissertation project uh, where they used a decibel meter and they were out on platforms and they were uh, measuring just the ambient noise on those platforms. And several of these platforms in the middle of freeways, uh, the gold line, uh, the green line in Los Angeles, uh, if you were going to be waiting there for five, ten minutes, it actually exceeded uh, OSHA ratings for occupational health and safety of what you would expect somebody to be exposed to for a prolonged period of time. We must also ensure that that planning and design of these transit lines and policy development aren't done in silos saying we're just focusing on the infrastructure of transit and this is what our agency does. So you can understand that people don't want to expose themselves or their children if they're traveling as a family uh, to that loud noise day in and day out because uh, yeah, it's a very unpleasant environment. It's also a very dirty environment with the pollution and particulate matter from the vehicles.